Oh my god, are you actually serious right now? No wonder you look so banged up. Do you see where your actions can lead to when you don't think about the consequences? Oh just keep freaking laughing Thomas. I was already in pretty bad shape before this, so don't give me that BS regarding consequences. But it's true, at the worst, you could have simply just let yourself get fired rather than throw the plate at that one customer and get a huge beating for it, that's just, so, oh my, I can't freaking stop laughing right now. mind explaining the details on how you got your butt kicked again, holy moly. If I need to explain this catastrophe of a beating again, then my memory is pretty fuzzy, because the customer's friend was throwing so much shit at me at once, I couldn't keep up. The only things I can truly remember was her biting my face, throwing tables and chairs at me, stomped me in the wheels repeatedly while also doing the same thing to my face. She even got a plate of pancakes that one of the other customers was eating earlier, and bashed it across my head constantly, even going as far as to burn the food in my face. I felt the agonizing ten minutes of that, and the bullshit part is that the plate didn't shatter once. She even tried to grab the Denny's menu board she broke. No doubt it broke from all the objects she was throwing at you, you may continue. Just before she could grab it to presumably cripple me horribly, my boss was coming and she immediately stopped. I was damn near unconscious during the firing, but I think I should be thankful that my boss came just this once, even though he doesn't like me. For all we know, I might not even be standing here right now if it wasn't for him, but I still think it's dumb that those two women get a bill to pay for the damages at worst. Said damages being the one done to the restaurant, not me. That customer's friend should have her psychopathic ass arrested for what she did to me. Oh my goodness, that story is even funnier to hear a second time. I doubt she would have killed you though, you could have got out with a broken engine at the worst. Shut up Thomas. I know I always say that one beating is the worst of them all. But no. This is single-handedly the worst one I've gotten in any job period. Not sure why you're telling me that to be honest, that should be directed towards the people who watch this series. I don't keep up with the things that you do nowadays. Oh yeah, that reminds me. The last time I saw you was when I had a job at Carl's Jr. Whoever that giant engine chasing you around was, the both of you have got some nerve. Whatever do you mean, Diesel? I was just trying to get away from Vinny, that's all. Vinny? Oh whatever. The both of you got me blamed and sued at Carl's Jr. Why couldn't you have come back and helped me Thomas? I couldn't. I was too busy trying to escape him. I'm sure it wouldn't have been too late if I came back anyway. What do you mean? Did you get away from him at all? I did, but I was extremely lucky. Explain yourself. If you say so, let's see. So he was still chasing me around town after we left the restaurant. I was certain he was going to catch me until this red and black figure interfered. Seriously? That doesn't sound smart. I bet he was just some kid in a costume trying to play superhero. There's no way he could take on the so-called Vinny. I didn't believe it either, but he was completely fearless towards him. The figure was trolling Vinny the entire time, not caring that it was only angering him even more. This guy sounds like a retard. Did you ever catch the name of the figure? I was hiding while the argument was going on but I think I faintly heard him say his name was Deadpool or something, I don't know. What? Deadpool was there? God damn it. I should have followed you too, if I knew he was going to be there. I still owe him an ass kicking for getting me fired for the 49th time. Well, Vinny tried, but he failed miserably. I think he also said he can't die, so what would getting revenge on him even do for you Diesel? Okay, bye Thomas. Wait. Don't you want to know how I escaped? I can already infer the distraction is the reason. By the way, tell Sartoffam had what he's been up to these days. Man! I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like it's been ages since I last got a job. It's only a feeling, but I guess whatever break happened was very much needed. I know I certainly needed one after the abomination that was Denny's. Also, I decided to change some things up and come here a lot later than usual. I want to know what it's like to work night shifts, considering I haven't done that since like, several Christmases ago. Anyway, besides Thomas being an unhelpful prick and laughing about my job at Denny's, this is the 73rd time I've been fired. 
Where should I freaking work next? I have an idea. Oh, come on. The pun wasn't even that bad. You guys are actually no fun. You have no sense of humor whatsoever. Welcome to IKEA. How may I help you? Oh hey sir. Don't mind us. We're just here to pick up a bunch of furniture. Oh, I see. Feel free to check out whatever we have in store today. Ugh, Bung. I don't feel so good right now. The walk yard was so long and I feel like I need something right now. Chowder, please tell me you aren't feeling hungry already? We literally ate a huge meal before we came here. I know, but I'm feeling another urge to eat again. And you know how I tend to get when I'm starting to feel hungry. Listen, Chowder. I can get you something to eat once we finish our shopping here. I don't want you to get impatient and start eating everything around you again. It's stressful. Wait, is that kid of yours seriously named Chowder? Is that the reason he's so hungry right now? I'm afraid so, yes. Also, don't get the wrong idea, he isn't my son, but I do raise him in a restaurant I own. Said restaurant is also our home, and we cook the finest dishes there. Uh huh. That's very interesting I guess. Look, I don't want the well-being of this store to be put in danger, because the kid can't get hold of his own food urges. I already have two large bills to pay and I don't want Chowder to put me in a third situation where I am liable for the damages. Both of your days will not be great if that occurs. Don't worry, I can keep him under control. I also promised him we won't be here too long to get the stuff we need. Just trust me. I'm only trusting you just this once. If you guys screw up, you're dead meat, and I'm not joking about that. Can't make promises. I might actually start eating if we don't leave in the next 40 minutes. No, you two are staying true to your word and that's final. Actually, why am I wasting the minutes away talking to you two? Just go get the things you need now. You're a little pushy for an employee. I think you should relax a bit. Not gonna lie, Mun. He's giving me truffles of vibes. I'm sorry, what is that supposed to mean? Chowder, watch what you say. You should remember she and Schnitzel are the reasons we're here to begin with. I hope my job doesn't get ruined because of those two. They're already on thin ice right now. Welcome to IKEA. How may I help? What in God's name? Who are you two supposed to be? Oh, hello. I'm Kendra. And my name is Raphael. Pleasure to meet you, mister. But what's with that expression on your face? Oh, nothing. I just think the two of you look absolutely ridiculous. Kendra, you look like one of those stereotypical goths. And Raphael, you look like a fucking Mexican. Ha 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 ha. What? No, I don't. I just like wearing black clothes. It's my favorite color. And you laughing at the fact that a Mexican is uncalled for. I'm from Mexico, same with my parents and little sister. You don't just go and be racist to people like that. Whoever said I was being racist? I just think your appearance is so ridiculous that you look like a Mexican. And who can forget little Miss Goth over there? Ha 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 ha. Okay, listen sir. Your offensive comments are making us pretty mad. I hope this isn't how you treat everyone because none of this is nice behavior and you should cut it out. Why should I Kendra the God? In fact, maybe you should wear pink instead. It fits someone of your own gender so well. What? Never. Pink isn't even my favorite color. It's my least favorite in fact, and I actually had to wear it once. Plus I like wearing black clothes, deal with it. And all I'm gonna say is, call us one more mean name and we're leaving. Don't you do it. Just stop already. I'm never going to stop laughing and that's final. The fact that you two are humoring me with your sheer presence is golden. <laughs> then we're leaving. We're not going to hang around here anymore. Bye bye. Man, I forgot how funny getting jobs can be sometimes. I run into some of the strangest looking people and always have a nice laugh about it when the chance comes. Welcome to IKEA. How may I help you?
Oh hi mister, I'm just passing by and trying to decide what I want to buy here. Ah, I see. Well, there's a lot of items to choose from in this store, and anything here can do great wonders for your home. Yeah, that's what I'm having difficulty with. There's so much to choose from that I honestly don't know what I want to buy exactly. I don't often go to stores this huge. Understandable. But just know though, there's other workers here who are willing to help you out. I'm not so sure I'm the right person you should be asking help from. That's okay, I'll ease your labor a little and be on my... Hello, I have a complaint I'd like to file about this place. The sinks in this building aren't working properly, and I'm afraid that's going to be a huge problem for me. Wait, what the hell? You're a pig. Why are sinks even a concern for you when animals like you thrive off of dirty things like mud? Go whine about this somewhere else. Wah, 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 wait, did you, um, um, just say, you're a, a pig? Oh. Um, yes, but hold on don't get the wrong idea, I'm actually supposed to be a he- I'm scared of those animals, please don't hurt me Mr. Pig, I'll do anything, I promise. Wait, you're scared of pigs? Oh my god, that's hilarious. I know there's people out there who are scared of animals, but pigs? That's so freaking pathetic. Hey, don't listen to that engine, I'm not going to hurt someone like you. That would go against my own nature as a human being if I did so. Wait, Wait human, human being. being? Yeah, as you can see I'm actually supposed to be a human, but I was cursed as a young boy. This is in relation to some cursed spring I fell into, but that's a story for another day. Oh you poor thing. It must not be fun being stuck in a form like that your whole life. Sorry if my frightful attitude was inconsiderate. It's okay. I'm not going to hold it against you since you have the context now. But there is a cue though, all I need is hot water splashed on me and I'll be back to normal. Oh no, not this hot water bullshit again. Are you by chance related to the old man who told me the exact same thing? Because I still refuse to believe that fuckery is real. Hey. That's the father of my rival you're talking about. And yes, hot water is what turns people like us back to normal. And this store's sinks won't heat up for some reason. And I can immediately deduce that you're like this because your dumbass touched the cold water. Listen, if you turn back to normal the moment I pour hot water on you, out you go. What the hell? Why do I got to leave over something that's just factual about me and a few others, especially when it's out of our control? This is stupid. Shut your trap. Oh, wow. So you really are a human after all. Yes, I wasn't lying now was- Hey you! Didn't I tell you to leave immediately if the hot water actually turned you back into a human? Oh fine. Not like I need to deal with someone like you anyway. Ouch! Dude! Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Because I surely will have no problem whooping your ass right here, right now. Why would you put that picture on his back? I just told you I'm afraid of those animals. You put a picture of a pig on my back, didn't you? Yep. And the best part is, the two of you didn't see that coming. I pulled a double prank right there. Why am I so fucking amazing? You're lucky I'm not going to beat your ass here since I actually want to get to know that friendly girl better. Next time we meet eye to eye, you're fucking dead meat. Kid, wait up. The big bad engine was just pulling a cruel prank on you. Welcome to. Holy shit. A gothic emo killer. Get away from me. I'm too young to die. Bum, is that something wrong? Um, nothing. What do you want to buy? Oh, I was just going to buy some Halloween decorations for my pet fans. I want to give him more things to mess with to keep him from getting bored. Okay, but before we talk about specifics, I got a surprise for you. What is it? Look behind you. Ha! <laughs> 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 That's what gothic children like to get. 
Oh man, I've been hoping to pull that one off for a long ass time. To think that I would actually meet up with a real goth after making fun of that other black clothed kid earlier. I'm not even scared anymore, I just pranked three people in a row. Welcome to Ikea. How may I help you? I would like to buy a draw unit, please. Okay. That will be $99. Thank you for your payment, and... Hold on a minute. Aren't you going to pay your taxes? Hey! Get your fucking thieving ass back here, you fucking shallow girl! You won't escape. Get your ass over here. Oh man. What is going on with that mean employee now? I don't know, but it might be in our best interest to not get involved. That was close. I think I lost him. Oh no you don't. Pay your taxes or else you will feel the power of the almighty devious diesel. Never. Fuck this, since this dumbass thinks not paying her taxes will give her any sort of discipline, I'll give her some discipline of my own. Full speed ahead. So, what exactly happened here? Well sir, that young shallow girl decided to not pay her taxes for a draw unit at Ikea, stormed out of the store without paying the whole fee, and ended up crashing. Okay sir, thanks for telling us the important information. But I have another question. Didn't you used to work as a police officer? I feel like I've seen you before. Uh, no. I wasn't. Maybe you're just imagining things. Okay then, that's all we needed to hear from you. Have a nice day. Man. What a tiring shift. At least that'll teach her not to pay her taxes. I think it's best I leave before I run into some familiar firefighters as well. I've noticed something. I have actually been working here for at least one week without getting fired. What kind of world am I living in? This is the first time I've ever had a job this long without getting fired since my job as a construction worker. I even got paid $150 this week. Maybe this job won't be so bad after all. The customers I've had over this past week were relatively normal as well. Let's see what today brings. Welcome to IKEA. How may I help you three? We're just here to buy some home appliances. We don't plan to stay here very long. Oh, alright then. I find that a little odd, since there's three of you, but do ask around if you have any concerns. We know what we're doing, but thanks for the offers. Those three seem a little suspicious. Their responses seemed rather dodgy. Maybe I'm just paranoid about something going wrong. Welcome to IKEA. How may I help you? Welcome to Ikea. How may I help you? I would like to buy some blankets because my house is currently having some air conditioning problems. Wait, what? I thought air conditioners were supposed to remove heat, not add on to it. They do, but the thermostat at my home is having issues heating up and I don't have enough blankets to use. It's been like that for a few days. Can't you ask your family if you can borrow their blankets? I don't think they'll say no to you. Here's the problem. Because of our lack of blankets, one of them wouldn't have any blankets to use, and that wouldn't make a very pleasant sleeping experience for anyone. Actually, that confuses me. Aren't you just getting even warmer using blankets? You may have mentioned unpleasant experiences, but this still doesn't add up. We have fans. You didn't forget that factor, did you? I guess I did. Well, since I relate to the feeling of being overly hot a lot, I'll give you your blankets. You seem alright. How much do you want? Just five. Um, was that supposed to happen? No. 
Not at all. Oh god, I hope this building isn't falling apart. That's very concerning and could possibly screw me over. What do you? No time for explanations. In that case, you should probably hurry and give me the blankets before one of those falls on my head. Real quick, the price is $85 whatever your name is. Antal Pro Gamer is the name. Well here you go Antal Pro Gamer. Got five blankets packed up for you. Safe travels. You too, you have a great day as well. Anyway, why the fuck did those building pieces fall from the ceiling? Did I fucking curse myself or is it a genuine structure issue? Hey sir, it turns out we actually do need some help. Yeah, uh, can that wait a minute? Big chunks of the ceiling just fell and it's pretty concerning right now. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I have something to do with that. Wait, what are you even? Why? Why does that keep happening? You see, our friend Milo here comes from a family that is, to say the least, very unlucky. This only affects his family specifically we should note. Why the hell are you two hanging around him then if his presence is just going to cause bad luck around you then? Because we're great friends and want to be supportive of Milo. We get into unfortunate situations all the time, so it isn't anything unusual for us. Ha. Huh. So you think you three kids can just waltz inherent just bring someone like that here? Well yeah, society as we know it accepts him, and it's not like we should hold it against him over something out of his control. Well you wanna know what I think? What's that sir? You're out of here. Kid, you're not going to ruin this job for me. Hey! What are you doing? Please let me down. Put him down. What do you think you are doing crazy? What out of here is only causing dumbass? Ouch! Milo. Phew. That was a close one. We could write an entire 50 page book out of why what you did just now was so inconsiderate and stupid, but our friend is probably injured horribly and we need to go help him. We're coming pal, hang in there. I'm so glad I did that before the entire building potentially collapsed. I'm not about to have another huge bill to pay. Devious Diesel. Did I really just see you throw a customer out that window just now? Well, this one is gonna be quite the doozy to explain, huh? <laughs> Thank uh -huh.